Come on and clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Come on and clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Come on and clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I know it's going to be some church today. Ooh, yes, Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on and clap God. We're worshiping the most high. We're worshiping the most high God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. He wants praise. He wants thanksgiving. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. He's the captain of all hosts. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He woke us up this morning. I said he woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. Come on. We could have been in the coffin. We could have been in the grave. Hallelujah. But God saw fit. God saw fit. God saw fit. God saw fit. Yes, Lord. I hear the tambourines going. I see the feet moving and shuffling. Come on, I, I hear a dance. We don't need music. We can praise God without music. We can praise God. Hallelujah. Anytime, any place, and anywhere. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Praise the name of God. Well, we are excited today about church. Amen. I want to welcome you all at Perfecting Church for 1045. We're going to have a blast in the things of God today. The Holy Ghost is going to move and he's going to receive glory and honor. Amen. We also want to welcome those in our cyber sanctuary. Come on, y'all. Y'all clap for the cyber sanctuary. We're excited to engage with you. You are part of us and we are part of you. I want you to tap in and, and uh, hit the share button, get in the chat and worship God with us together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Father, let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, God, we thank you for this day because this is the day that you have made and we're going to rejoice therein and be glad. God, we thank you for the saints. God, we thank you for their families. We thank you for the visitors. God, the sinners that are coming in. Hallelujah. The souls that you're saving and delivering now. We thank you for the children. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for the worship team and the band and the mothers, the ushers, God, the saints of God, all of you that are serving. And Lord, we thank you for our wonderful pastor. Amen. Thank you for our first lady who labor. We thank you for their gifts that you have given us, God. Now, Lord, we ask that you would move by your spirit have your way now today in the name of Jesus let your word go across and touch thousands God God let a revival break forth in the name of Jesus we bind the enemy now we come against Satan we rebuke every demonic influence every sabotage spirit we come against now in the name of Jesus we rebuke you Satan in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost you will not have free course and now Lord we ask God that you would save as you do that you would deliver as you do in the name of Jesus and God we'll give you all the glory and the honor and praise in Jesus name come on and praise God and say amen my Lord you have your Bibles because we are a sharing church you can look at your neighbor and tell them you love them <laughs> we're a sharing church grab your Bibles and we're gonna go to the 149th division of Psalms going to start at the first stanza and we'll end and conclude at the fourth. When you have it, say, I got it. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. I said, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. I said, for the Lord taketh pleasure in you. He will beautify the meek with salvation. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. We we'll have praise and worship here to really take us in into the things of the spirit. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
quickly, can I get you to clap your hands? Clap your hands, clap your hands. Give God the glory, give him praise, hallelujah. No, 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 no. Clap your hands for your savior and your king, hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. There's a reason why I smile in the middle of a storm. There's a reason why I dance even when it's raining. There's a reason I don't fear no hurt or harm. And when there's no song to sing, I just keep singing. Come on, clap. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's a reason. Storm. You're the reason why I dance. You're the reason why I dance, even when it's raining. You're the reason I don't the fear. I don't fear. No hurt or harm. And when there's no song to sing, no song to sing I, just I just keep singing. Keep singing. Yeah. In the morning when I wake up, I just say, God got me. And I sing this tune in the afternoon. God got me. In the evening time, I just remind myself. God got me. In the morning when I wake up, I just say, God's got me. And I sing, sing this tune in the afternoon, God's got me. In the Ooh. evening time, I just remind myself, God's got me. All night, all day, I just say, God's got me. Oh.
everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm here to bear good news today. So when I get your news, y'all got to rejoice. Y'all got to get happy. Y'all got to get excited, all right? I don't know if they told y'all what was happening today because it's second Sunday. It's time for Children's Church. <laughs> Come on, kids. It's time for Slam Zone today. Keep clapping, keep clapping. These are kids for tomorrow. Amen. If you're... If you are a visitor and you want to bring your kid, jump right in line. You register in the chapel. Just follow them out and go to the chapel register. And if your child is here and do not have a badge, please walk out, go to the chapel and register. Amen. All right, children, wave your gift, wave your gift. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Wave, wave it in there, wave it in there. Lord, we thank you for these children. We thank you for these this gift that you have, are about to receive, Lord, we ask you to cover these children and you keep them, Lord. Your word says, train them up in the way they should go. And it will not depart from them when they get old. Lord, we thank you. We believe in your word. We, act, we thank you for this, this blessing, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Children, shout back, not as a dead I O. Come on, kids, shout back, not as a dead I O. But as a seed I sow. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Come on and clap your hands for these wonderful children in children's church. Come on, they're giving to the Lord. The Lord has a special blessing for them. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all clap and encourage our children. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Woo! Come on, y'all. Keep encouraging. Wow, what a beautiful sight. Amen. That is our future. Amen. Actually, that's our now <laughs> and our future. But Listen, we have a wonderful preacher here. Elect Lady Janice Wade is going to come with our exhortation. And after that, we got joyful noise in the house. And they're going to praise God. And then after that, we'll receive the man of the hour, our wonderful Pastor Haynes. Come on in that order. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's got it. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord God. You got it. I need y'all to praise him with me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's got it. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. He's got it. Oh, Lord. He's got it. He's got it. Thank you, Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exhort his name together. Let us exhort his name together. Hallelujah, Jesus. God's got it. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Let us. His name is Wonderful Counselor. Oh, he's a mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, the Great I Am, the Lord of Hosts, the God who made heaven and earth, the heavens declared his glory, and the firmament shows forth his handiwork. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will give him the praise. I will exhort the name of Jesus, for his name alone is worthy. His name is righteous. He's a holy God, everlasting Father. Father, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. So it's your turn to bless the Lord. Let your voices be heard. Bless his holy name. I come to bless the Lord. I come to give him praise. I come to exhort his name. His name is worthy. His name is righteous. His name is holy. He's a holy God. It's, hey, God. Lord,
He's a wonderful Savior, a beautiful Savior. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. My Lord, y'all can worship God. We don't steal God's worship. We ain't gonna steal his praise either. What? with me. Let's exalt his name together. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh. Come on, pray. Oh, Lord Jesus. I see the timbrels, the tambourines, and I see some of the footwork happening. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on, praise it. God. Praise the name of God. He's worthy to be worshipped. He is our king. He is the king. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm. All right. Well, listen, we got to get ready to hear this word, but we got to hear the word of God. Amen. Woo, Lord. As you're standing to your feet, as all are standing to their feet, we have a God-man. We have a preacher's preacher. We have, in, in the person of Pastor, Elder Pastor Haynes, phenomenal man of God, great teacher of the Word of God. I want y'all to receive him because God has anointed this man and God has put a word in this man's belly for you. Receive Pastor Roy Hayes. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. He's a wonder. Hey, he's a wonder. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. His name shall be called Wonderful, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we honor you. We praise you now. Hallelujah. We praise you for your presence. We recognize who you are. And we magnify you in the name of Jesus. The grass withereth and the flower thereof fadeth. But Lord, send your word today in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The glory is in the house. I said the glory is in the house. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone who is watching by the way of Cyber Sanctuary by Facebook or YouTube. Thank you for joining with us. You're in the right place at the right time. I said you're in the right place at the right time. Just magnify the Lord with us. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together. I know he's where you are and you feel him. Just praise him with us. I want to welcome everyone in the sanctuary today. God is so good. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. We give honor to our bishop today. In his absence, we want to thank God for him. We have a man of God, a shepherd, a visionary. Hallelujah. And God has promised his people that I will give you shepherds after my own heart that would feed you with knowledge and understanding. And today we have a shepherd that watches over us and that feeds us. And we praise God for him, for his life today. Amen. Amen. Praise God for our first lady, Winans. I bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God for all our preachers, for Minister Proctor, for all our elders, elect ladies. Thank you, Jesus. I want to get to the word. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to get there. Hallelujah. I want to praise God for my family and especially for my wife. Uh, Proverbs said, Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with their hands. Do I look plucked down today? Absolutely not. <laughs> so I have a wise woman, a beautiful wise woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God for my children and my grandchildren. But I want to say perfecting. We have a mandate from our pastor for everyone to plan to be in Texas for holy convocation. Amen. Hallelujah. This is our convocation. And PC, we will, we will be there. Amen? Amen. If you haven't registered, please register. It is our week to be blessed and to be refreshed. So please make plans to attend. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we stand for the reading of God's word? Let's stand for the reading of God's word. Hallelujah. Oh, his presence is here. And I praise him for his presence. Luke, the 17th chapter. Oh, I'm still feasting on last week's word still being healed oh my and I don't want to remove far from that vein because I do sense that God is still healing and doing things Luke the 17th chapter and the 11th verse well I'll, I'll skip down for sake of time to the 18th verse well the 15th verse I'll start there. Luke 17 and 15, if you have it, say amen. amen. The word of God is so good, isn't it? 
And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to talk today. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord about the benefits, benefits without worship. Benefits without worship. I want to talk about three things today hope, mercy, and this. Stranger, hope, mercy, and this stranger. Thank you, Jesus. It's all in this text that we read. It begins at verse 11, that as Jesus was passing and he went to Jerusalem, he passed through the coasts of Samaria and Galilee, and as he entered the village... Uh, ten men who were lepers, which stood afar off. Hallelujah. They lifted up their voices and said, Jesus. Well, can I say like they did? Jesus! Master! Sometimes you have to do that, especially if you're far off. See, if you're in the close proximity, you can say, Jesus, Master. But if you're far off, you got to make sure he hears you. You got to make sure that you get his attention. Some of us haven't yelled long enough, yelled loud enough to get his attention. But he's waiting to get your attention. Hallelujah. Can somebody cry, Jesus? Jesus. Master. Master. Hallelujah. When you're by yourself, sometimes you got to cry out, Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't be embarrassed. I need him to get my attention to get I need to get his attention. Hallelujah. Mercy, hope, and this stranger. If you look in Proverbs 13 and 12, it says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick but when the desires cometh hallelujah it is a tree of life see what sustains healing and the benefits of healing is worship let me just say that now what what sustains healing is worship don't lose your the, the healing you received last week or whenever you received it or still waiting to receive it, it's sustained by worship. Hallelujah. Oh my, hallelujah. I need someone to worship him right here. Hallelujah. If God healed you, then worship him. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. If you're waiting on your healing, then worship him. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. 
Oh, if you're well, then worship him. That's what sustains your healing. And it also gives you benefits. Somebody say benefits without worship. So Proverbs tells us hope deferred. That word deferred means it's drawn out. It's sustained or it may be hidden. Uh, you may be hoping for your healing or hoping for a financial breakthrough or hoping for your children to come home to get in order, hoping for a job, and it's been a while. Don't give up hope. I'm here to tell you, don't give up hope today. Uh, hope defers, deferred makes your heart sick. It, it, it's been sustained. It's been over a period of time. But don't get weary. Don't give up hope because hope has joy attached to it. Hope has peace attached to it. Hope has rewards attached to it. You remember Joseph? You remember Joseph? Uh, and he had 11 brothers. And... Uh, uh, his brothers wanted to kill him, but instead of killing him, his eldest brother said, well, just put him in the pit. And in the pit, Joseph had some hope that he would be rescued. That hope was sustained until it became deferred. And as time went by, you see, time challenges your hope. I said, time challenges your hope. But if God had told you a word, you don't have to let time be your enemy. Just say, I know he told me, and it's happening right now. Hallelujah. I said, right now, it's happening. So Joseph was in the pit, and some, the, the, the Midianites came by and pulled him out of the pit. Imagine that. Here is my hope. That I'm getting out of the pit by these Midianites. But the Midianites didn't rescue him to take him back to his family. They sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. You know, you, you can have hope and you see a little light come here, come my hope, my dreams. And the devil throws something at you to dash you. Uh, to make you uh, deter and, uh, and, and lose hope. But don't lose your hope today. Because your hope still has God's word attached to it. Sold him to the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites didn't bring him back to his family, but they brought him down to Egypt. Got in the Egypt, and there he prospered. I'm shortening the story there. He prospered. Uh, but God had a plan for Joseph's life. Hallelujah. You remember uh, Potiphar's wife? She made a proposal and offer to Joseph that some people could not refuse. But Joseph, because God had given him a word, mm, he was able to refuse the offer. And so, you know, you, are, you have to refuse some offers. You can't jump at every offer. You have to say, no, not for my God. I can't sin against God. So you have to refuse some offers. So that's what Joseph did. And in doing that, he landed in prison. There goes his hopes being dashed. And he was in prison with the baker and the butler. And they had a dream. And Joseph, being the interpreter of dreams, he interpreted the dreams of the baker and the butler. But two years passed. After they got out, they left Joseph in prison. What hope Joseph had. Well, would you be able to manage that? After two years waiting, you, I know I gave the, the baker his word that his head would be off and the butler that Pharaoh would restore him. Here is hope for the butler. Is there hope for me? Two years passed and the butler forgot about Joseph. Hallelujah. I said the butler forgot about Joseph, but God have a way of doing things. God have a way. He has a way of inserting himself, inserting his word. Hallelujah. Because his word will not return unto him void, but it will accomplish. Hallelujah. I feel the Lord here. I said the word of the Lord, it will accomplish. 
will accomplish that which is set forth for him. And so that hope that Joseph had, uh, they came and got him out of prison. And he shaved and everything, went to Pharaoh, interpreted his dreams. And Pharaoh, Pharaoh made him the ruler over Egypt. He was the one that was beside Pharaoh. Don't you see how God will work if you hold on? Mm, to the word that God has given you. If God said he's, going, uh, has said he's going to heal you, he will heal you. If God has told you he's going to bless you, he will bless you. If God has told you that he will prosper you, he will prosper you. Don't give up hope today. Mm. Uh, Lamentations, Lamentations, the third chapter, uh, it's a, a part of the poetry books because it's written in that style, but it was written by Jeremiah the prophet, and he is coined as the weeping prophet because he, he recognized Jerusalem and all the devastation in their walk with God was not where it should be, and so he wept over Jerusalem. Uh, and he was lamenting, and in the first verse of, of Lamentation 3, he said, I am the man that have seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He had led me and brought me into darkness, but, uh, but not unto light. Oh, that sounds like devastation to me. Mm, sometimes uh, you go through periods of darkness. Uh, yea, all that will live godly. <laughs> See, if you're living anything, I said, if you're living anything for God, you are going to suffer persecution. Think it not strange when these fiery trials are coming at you. You will be tried. You will suffer persecution. But you have to remember the word of the Lord. I say, you have to remember the word of the Lord. You may be uh, having sickness all over your body, but you have to remember if you're living godly in Christ. Oh, it's coming on you. It's going to try you, but when he try me, I'm coming forth as pure gold. See, the gold has to, has to be tried in the fire. If you want to be a servant of God, you have to have that, uh, like the Bible said, we have treasures in earthen vessels. And God will bring it out every now and then. He'll prove what's on the inside of you. Mm. Uh, but Jeremiah began to get discouraged. He began to get discouraged. And uh, losing his hope, losing his hope, uh, he got this courage, and he, you know, we, we could read through that, but please read through that on, on your time. He says in the fourth verse, my flesh and my skin hath made, hath made, he made old, he hath broken my bones. He hath built it against me and compassed me about with gall and travail. Uh, he hath set me in dark places, and they that be dead of old. Oh my, can you imagine God putting you in a dark place? Uh, it's not always the devil. Sometimes it's God that's just hiding you. But you have to know that what's darkness to you is as noonday to him. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may not be able to see your way, but God sees right where you are. I said God sees right where you are. Let, let me read down a little bit. Can, I want to jump. Uh, to the ninth verse, uh, he hath enclosed my ways with, he with hewn stone and hath made my path crooked. You think your path is going to be straight all the time? Uh, you know, we, we love, he made the crooked places straight. Yes, he does, but sometimes uh, he'll lead you in a crooked way. Uh, this can't be God. This can't be God dealing with me like, like this, but God will bring you in a crooked place. God will bring you in a place that uh, he'll make the light, the darkness light before you. What is wrong, he'll make it right before you. Uh, the valleys he will make high and the crooked he'll make straight. So don't think it's always going to be straight. It can't be straight if it was never crooked. There can't be light if there was never darkness. 
can't be mountains if there were never valleys. But God will bring you in a place that you have to trust him. God will bring you in a place where hope is dwindling. But you have to trust God through the darkness. You have to trust God through the crooked place. You have to trust God when you go through the valley. Because yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Hallelujah. I want to jump. I'm going to talk about uh, his mercy for a little bit. But, but, but you have to have hope. You have to have hope. And in the 21st verse, it says, uh, this I recall to my mind. Do you remember what God has done for you? How he brought you out? Then why are you tripping? Why are you discombobulated? Hallelujah. Why are you losing it? Why are you so upset? If you can recall what God has done, done for you oh glory if you can recall how God has brought you out why are you allowing the enemy to beat you down like that just remember where he brought me from and I remember I said I remember where the Lord has brought me from I remember every now and then I have to look back how he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light and now my duties my obligation is to praise him hallelujah this I recall to my mind therefore I have hope then now because I have hope it is of the Lord's mercies I said, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. See, Jeremiah dealt with it personally before. He built a wall around me. I couldn't escape. But now he addresses all of us. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Do I have anybody with me who say, I've been through the fire but I'm not consumed. I've been through the fire, but it didn't burn me up. Like the three Hebrew boys, the mercies of God was over them. And the king looked in and said, I see a fourth one. He looks like the son of God. When you're going through the fire, God will be with you. When you're going through the floods, it will not overthrow you, but God is there with you. Hey, glory, glory, glory. It is of the Lord's mercies. We're not consumed because his compassion fail not for there are new, they are new every morning. I said they're new every morning. I don't know about you, but I need his mercies every morning. I need his compassion every morning. In fact, I need the morning, noon, and night. But the morning is a special place. It's renewal, like the, like the dew in the grass. Hallelujah. The dew in the morning, the mercies of God. They're new. Please be seated for a moment. They're new every morning. And great is thy faithfulness. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my portion, mm, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope. You see, when God shows you his mercies, it renews your hope. It renews your faith. Hallelujah. Let me get to my lesson. Hallelujah. This stranger. Somebody say this stranger. In our lesson, we see Jesus as he passed through. It was necessary for him to go the way of Samaria. And isn't that uh, something uh, that he went through Samaria? It was needful for him to go through Samaria to meet the woman at the well. So he went by Samaria again this time. And afar off were ten leprous men. And uh, they... I've heard about Jesus. 
See, Jesus' fame was all over. And they heard about Jesus. They called him Jesus. They called him master. That master was not a rabbi or teacher. But that word master meant commander. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said that word rabbi or, or, or master did not mean rabbi or teacher because they weren't looking for information. They were looking for someone that could command a situation. So they called them master. Do you need someone commanding your situation today? Did you need, do you need someone involved where you are? Then call him master. I said call him master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you need someone that's going to be in the intricate details of your condition? Then call him master. I don't need information right now. I don't need a lesson right now. What I need is healing right now. I need someone to take charge of my children. I need someone to take charge of my husband. I need a commander to take charge of my wife. I need a commander to take charge of my job. I need someone that's going to be in there with me. I need someone when I'm sick to heal my body. I need someone who's touched with the feelings of my infirmities. I need someone that's going to command healing. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This stranger. We often talk about the ten men. They went along their way. After they cried out to Jesus. But one came back when he realized that he was cleansed. Mm, hallelujah. It would seem selfish for the others not to come back and say thank you. You know, you can be rolling with a group because leprosy was that disease that it was uh, debil debilitating. And uh, they would have it in Sometimes it would be contagious. They would lose a finger, a, a, a toe, or whatever they may lose. And uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus just told him, go. Mm. Go and show yourself to the priests. Show yourself. Let them see that you're cleansed. So as they went, come on, don't stop going. As they went, you may not have seen your healing last week, but keep on going. I said, keep on going because the man of God gave you the word of God. And Jesus said, go, don't stop going. When you're discouraged, keep on going. When you're frustrated, keep on going. When the tumors, they're still there, keep on going. When the bleeding is still there, keep on going. When the pain is still there, keep on going. Hallelujah. Because I'm going and it will be manifested. I will be cleansed. I will be healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Hey, I said I will be healed. Keep on going, keep on going, don't stop till the promise is fulfilled, keep on going, hallelujah. This stranger, this stranger, hallelujah, I said this stranger noticed something, but he didn't just stop at what he noticed, he turned around and he went back to Jesus. He was afar off when he called on Jesus. But now because of his condition, he ran to Jesus. And he knelt down at Jesus' feet. I said he knelt down and he began to worship him. Some of us want benefits without the worship. He'll give you the benefit without the worship because he's kind unto the unthankful i said he's kind oh lord he caused it to rain on the just and on the unjust hallelujah but when you realize that i hold god 
when you realize that I have a praise for God, when you realize that he brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light, then I owe God a worship. I owe God a praise. I can't just receive the benefits without the worship. I got to receive the benefits and begin to praise God. I got to receive the benefits and give God the praise. Can somebody praise God today? Can somebody give God the glory? God has benefits for us daily. He loads me with blessings daily. He loads me with benefits. Hallelujah. Healing is a benefit. And I got to praise him. I said prosperity is a benefit, but I got to praise him. This stranger, hear what Jesus, hallelujah, hear what Jesus said. This stranger, it took a stranger and Jesus didn't just say he was a Samaritan because he was a real stranger in Kings and Leviticus it tells us about the strangers so Jesus didn't identify him as a Samaritan hallelujah don't let the devil give you labels that God haven't given you don't let the devil tell you that you're gonna die with it tell the devil he's a liar hallelujah but Jesus recognized him as this stranger Hallelujah. So this stranger returned and didn't just return and say, look at me, Lord. But he returned giving God the glory. Hallelujah. If you begin to praise God and give God the worship, that's do his name. Give God the glory. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Worship him, all ye kindreds. Lift your voices and let the hills hear your voice. I said, lift your voice and let the heels hear your voice hallelujah I'm gonna worship him for the benefits I'm gonna worship him when I feel like it I'm gonna worship him when I don't feel like it I'm gonna worship him in the good times I'm gonna worship him in the bad times because he is God I said he's God he deserved the worship he deserved the praise Praise him, all ye people. Let everything, let everything that have breath, let everything, let everything. If you're breathing, praise God. If you have hands, praise him. I have to close. I have to close. But let me go to Ephesians 2 and 11. It said, wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called on circumcision by that which is called circumcision. In other words, the circumcision had a name for us. Because they were circumcised, they call us uncircumcision. We were the uncircumcision that were called uncircumcision in the flesh, made by hands. That at that time, ye were without Christ. Hallelujah. I said you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world but now I said now in Christ ye who were sometimes were afar off are made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ aren't you glad for the blood that we're no longer strangers hallelujah to Jesus Christ we're no longer strangers to the covenant but we have the same right. I say we have the right to the tree of life. Walk in his word. Take him at his word. You have the same right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Peter said, 
dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. You see, strangers, it's warring against your soul, but your job is to live for God. Your job is to praise God. Hallelujah. When you think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise God for saving me. When I think about him, I praise him. When I see what he's done, I praise him because there is a benefit. I don't, want to, I don't want to worship him. I don't want the benefits without worship. But I want to praise him for the benefits. Let's praise God. Come on and praise him. Praise him for the benefits. Praise him for what he's doing. Praise him for what he's done. Praise him for the healing. Praise him for the ways he's making him. Praise him for sustaining you in the good times. Praise him for healing your body. Praise him. I said praise him. All you people, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Shout unto God. You remember. You may remember. Name and the leper had leprosy, wanted to be healed. But the man of God said, go down and dip yourself seven times. Didn't understand it. In fact, he was angry at it. There's so many better waters around. Why didn't he tell me to do that? Or come out himself and heal me? Hallelujah. But a little servant girl, she told the man, if he had told you some great thing, wouldn't you have done it? I'm telling you simple things today. Lift your hands and praise God. And you will be healed. Lift your hands and praise God. And you will prosper. Lift your hands and praise God. Hallelujah. After Naaman dipped seven times, the Bible says his flesh became like a child. Worship. Come on, let's give him worship. Let's give him worship. Let's give him worship. If you have an expectation, don't let your hope die, but keep your hope alive because the mercies of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will give you the desires of your heart if you delight yourself in him. Everyone standing to your feet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I hear the worship. I hear the worship. Hallelujah. Oh, do it today, God. Heal today, God. Deliver today, God. Set free today, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do it today, God. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the benefits. We will praise you. We will worship you. Hallelujah. If you're here and God has given you benefits on top of benefits, but you haven't praised him, you haven't worshipped him, you're owing him. I said you're owing him. Hallelujah. He's given you that job that you've asked him for, but you haven't worshipped him. You owe him. Hallelujah. 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 And if you're here and you're not saved, he's given you benefits. You need to be saved today. Leprosy was that disease that's likened unto sin. But he'll cure you today. Jesus told the man, arise, go. Your faith has made you whole. Hallelujah. He was not only healed, 
but he received salvation. He received healing and wholeness. If you're here today and you want to be whole, not just healed, but saved, you can come at this time. You can come at this time. If you're here and you want to be made whole, you want to be saved, he'll save you today. He'll make you whole today. You owe God. You owe God. Come on. If you praise God, they will come. Man, I'm talking to you. Woman, I'm talking to you. If you're in the balcony, we'll wait for you. You're receiving benefits without worship. But you can worship God today in spirit and in truth. Come on. If you want to be saved, anyone today, come on. Come on. He's here to give you what you need. He's here for you to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And you can believe in your heart. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Come on, he'll save you. He'll save you. He'll save you. He'll save you. I'm going to do one more thing. If you're here, if you're here today, if you're here today, you were not here last week when the healing was taking place. Hallelujah. I want you to be a part of this healing. It's still here. It's still available. I want you to get the benefits, but I want you to worship. If you were not here last week, I want you to come down at this time. If you're sick and you were not here last week, I want you to come down and receive the healing of God. If you were not here, now if you were here, don't come. But if you were not here last week, you say, I'm sick and I want to be healed. I want you to get this benefit. I'm going to pray for you. And the same anointing that was here last week to heal, he's here today. Hallelujah. He's healing now. He's healing now. And he's making whole in the name of Jesus. He'll heal your mind. He'll heal your spirit. He'll heal your body. Hallelujah. Don't miss out. We're going to pray for you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're watching online. If you received salvation, please let us hear from you at salvation at perfectingchurch.org. We'd like to hear how God has saved you and healed you. Hallelujah. Hey, haya da da bashi. Glory, 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 glory. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my, oh my. Come on, he's saving. He's delivering. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maintain that healing with worship. Maintain this blessing with worship. Maintain the benefits with worship. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh my. Our ushers are coming at this time. Hallelujah. If you need an envelope, our ushers would be delighted to serve you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for our ushers. Our youth ladies are serving today. God bless them. Amen. Lift your hand if you need an envelope. If you're given by cash or check, you can fill that envelope out. If you're given by way of uh, text to give, right. hallelujah. Cash app, dollar sign, PC Detroit. If you're given, it's on your screen. Ways to give cash app, and it's dollar sign at PC Detroit. You can text perfecting to 73256. Or if you're given by Zelle, please use PC Detroit Zelle at gmail.com. We are 100% tithers here at Perfecting. Come on, I said we're 100% tithers. What I, what I didn't talk about with the one man that came back out of 10 was that the tithe returned to Jesus. I said the tithe, one out of 10, is it? That tithe came back and worshiped. So we're worshiping God in our giving. Can we have the tithe going back to him? Hallelujah. I need everyone, everyone, those that are tithing, and those who are giving offering, you've tied them. I need you to give an offering. We have a goal, and we want to meet that goal. Amen? I need everyone who will say, God, I'm going to give you, I'm going to sow into your kingdom a seed of $100. I want you to do that today. And those of you who are online, watching online, please join us. Please join us. God will give the same blessings to you. Hallelujah. So let's worship God today in our giving. Let's worship God in our giving. Everyone get a seed of at least $100 today and sow into the kingdom of God. If you can't give 100, you can give 50 or 30 or however God has blessed you. You may say, I want to give 1,000. You're certainly welcome. But everyone, everyone's sowing. And if you have nothing to sow, we know that God will bless your what? He'll bless your one. To everyone standing with that gift, the ways to give again are on the screen. I need everyone to sow with me today. Everyone standing 
everyone honoring God. Hallelujah. Now, God is going to give this back to you because there's a worship that's attached to it. So the tithe and the offering is a time of worshiping. So if you're going to worship with us, lift that gift, lift that offering, lift that tithe. Father, we thank you. It is of thine own that we give. And we pray that you bless both gift and giver according to their cheerfulness and faithfulness, for it's not as a debt I owe, but as a seed I sow. Not as a debt I owe, but as the seed I sow. In Jesus' name. Now, those who are in the, in the sanctuary, get to, uh, pass your offerings to the end aisle. The person at the end will remain standing. And our finance department will come and retrieve it. wonderful come on let's worship him the son of God those watching watching worship God in the giving hallelujah of God. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands. Praise the Lord for Pastor Roy Haynes. Come on, y'all can, can stand on your feet. He's a wonderful preacher. Honor the man of God and honor the gift that God has placed in Pastor Haynes. Hallelujah. Hmm. Worship, hope, hallelujah. We thank God for that word and we thank God for that healing. I needed this word. I needed this word. We all needed this word. Praise the name of God for the gift of Pastor Roy Haynes. Well, we have our, some, I hope we have some of our visitors here today. Come on, I want y'all to clap your hands because we're going to welcome our visitors Woo! if there are any visitors here please stand first time visitors stand. I'm excited to see you perfecting loves you thank you so much awesome we value your presence anyone in the balcony I know these lights are here stay standing stay standing for me well, we're excited again to have you as first-time visitors. Um, and we certainly appreciate you all being in the service here. And um, come on, y'all give a hand clap of praise again. You will all see Brother Davion with this, visitors, you'll see him with this particular card here or this poster. Um, I want you to meet one of our representatives in the corridor. There is on the banner, there's a QR code. You can actually take a, snap a picture of that, fill out the information, and our wonderful um, ministry, ministry team in the back will definitely be delighted to serve you in the bookstore. Amen. And while you're still standing, we got some, a music tune for you.
Portugal, we thank all of our visitors for coming here today. We value your presence. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, without further ado, please give your attention to the announcements. Good day, members and friends of Perfecting Church. It is time for the Perfecting News. We have been fed with a powerful word. Now it's time for another feast. Come one, come all to the Gospel Bistro today for delectable fried fish, sesame baked chicken wings, spaghetti with turkey meat sauce, succulent cabbage, and corn on the cob. We look forward to serving you in the Bistro. Calling all men. Prayer and conversation is returning. Brothers, mark your calendar for next Thursday, April 25th, and get ready for another great gathering from 6.45 until 7.30 p.m. Pastor Winans invites all men to come and bring another brother with you. It is going to be a great time. The Youth Ministry of Perfecting Church invites everyone out for a day of fun and fellowship as we let the good times roll in a skating party. Saturday, May 4th, from 5 until 7 p.m. Purchase your ticket today and let's all meet at Skate World for a day of family fun. Proceeds will benefit the 2024 Youth Camp. We are in full convocation mode. Holy Convocation will take place Monday, May 20th through Friday, May 24th, and it is going to be awesome. Enjoy this clip from just one of our powerful speakers, Apostle Herman Murray, opening day of Holy Convocation. Let me take some time to encourage you and to tell you that ain't nothing wrong with you. Look at, I wish I could, can, can I borrow your hands? Hey man, look at somebody close to you and tell them, but there's nothing wrong with you. Oh no, don't you change because folk, hey man, are cutting their eyes at you. You can't change and stop preaching. Church. Can I tell you something? I'd rather have five people on their way to heaven than a church full of hypocrites that are on their way to hell. I don't want folk that's coming because it's popular. I want folk coming because they know holiness is still right. Everyone is registering for Holy Convocation this year. Help us make our goal of 1,000 people this year. You may register immediately following service or online at www.pfi.world. Your registration will get us one step closer to our goal. Remember, we are PFI. Wonderful women of PC, guess what? We are all attending CC Winans Generations Live Conference. Friday, May 10th, and Saturday, May 11th. Here comes Cece. Hello, wonderful women at Perfecting Church. It's Cece Winans here. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about you all joining me at the Generations Live 2024 conference. Yes, we are thankful for technology that will allow you all to be at the conference while at your church in Detroit. Invite other sisters, invite your neighbors, invite your mom, your grandma. We are going to have an incredible time with these ladies who will be a part of the conference, including uh, Anita Phillips, uh, let me see, Jackie Hill Perry, Joyce Meyer, Cheryl Brady. We're going to have an incredible time. And you know what? Mom Wine is going to be there, and I know you all know and love her. It is going to be powerful. I can't wait to see you all Friday, May 10th, and Saturday, May 11th. Love you all. Feel free to contact our offices at 313-365-3787 if you have any questions. Have a blessed day. Praise the Lord, church. I said praise the Lord, church. I'm Brother Daniel Wallace, standing as your voice of perfecting, here to give you information on additional announcements and activities happening here at Perfecting Church. Amen? All right, we're going to start out with some congratulations. We want to congratulate Sister Kim Hill, not in the political relations team. They had a very informative procurement workshop that was held yesterday in the JMAC building. And we also want to congratulate elect lady Belinda Scott, Evangelist Myra Williams and Sister Cindy Flowers on a wonderful virtual Women's Day. Amen? 
And from what I told, it was outstanding. And if you miss sowing into that day, you can do so. You can avail yourselves to our financial tools and make sure you put women in the note section. Amen. The women's department appreciates your support. And it is prayer time. We want to keep in prayer Sister Lavina Jenkins and the loss of her sister and Sister Joanne, and Joanne Russo and the loss of her mother. And both of those funerals will be held out of state, and we want to keep those families supported in prayer. Amen? Prayer will go where you cannot. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you can quickly register for the Holy Convocation 2024. Just go to www.pfi.world. Or you can meet our greeters in the lobby and they will register you for convocation. Our goal is 1,000 people to register for convocation. And that means you. And to all of our visitors, we thank you so much for worshiping with us. And we think Perfecting Church is a wonderful place to worship. And if you agree, we want to invite you to join Perfecting Church. So at this time, I'm going to bring to the podium Pastor Roy Haynes to extend the invitation to join Perfecting Church. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a great church to join. And if you're here and you say, I want to join Perfecting Church, I want to be a part of Perfecting Church, this is your time. You can come at this time. If you're here and you say, I want to join Perfecting Church, come on down. Amen. Anyone, anyone today? Anyone that say, if you're in the balcony, we'll wait for you. I want to join Perfecting Church. I want the benefits that God have for me. You can come at this time. Amen. All right. They're coming. Come on, let's give God praise. They're coming. Anyone else? We'll wait for you. Praise God, and welcome to Perfecting Church. God bless you. What is your name? Shatira Webster. Sister Webster, now she's a twin. Her, is a twin here? <laughs> All right, bless you. She's been coming to Holy Ghost class, and we, we're so thankful. Come on, let's give her a hand. God bless you. We only have one kind of member here, Perfecting Church. What kind of member is that? Amen. On behalf of our bishop and Lady Winans, Amen. We welcome you to Perfecting Church. Lift your hands. Father, we thank you for this, our sister. We pray that the anointing that rests on this house would rest on her life. Let it be changed. Oh, God, give her what she needs now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God praise. Hey, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hey. When she gets up, throw your arms around her and welcome her to Perfecting Church. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. The power of God is here. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Well, I'm going to go to the Gospel Bistro. Hopefully, y'all meet me there. They got some good food going on in the back. So hopefully, we'll see you all there. And for those that would like prayer, the preachers will be here up front. And we will pray for you. We will labor with you. Amen? Now, let us dismiss. Father, we thank you and we do honor you. You are a righteous God and you are a merciful God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for Pastor Haynes. In the name of the Lord Jesus, bringing a healing and electrifying word today. God, to change the course of our lives, now we ask God that you would go before us and keep us from evil, hurt, harm, and danger, incident and accident, any type of demonic attack. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, we honor you, we glorify your name. Until we meet again, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray, amen. Amen.